Hi, what's up, Gary V? Kevin Widow at K Widopia on Twitter here at the Masai Mara, Kenya's world famous safari destination, here with the Lions. My question this week is in a market such as this, even here, everybody has a smartphone, huge smartphone penetration, twinned with uh, very early stage social media uh, development and promotion. What type of content driven online business would you advise to set up? Thanks very much. Question, you know, I don't know the, the uh, market in Africa and Asia as well as I do the rest of the world, but I'm very aware of the um, phone penetration, payment through phones, lack of, did you see that? Yeah. That was amazing. <laughs> Something just dripped. Oh, uh, the pipe. The pipe. Uh, yeah. From my pipe. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. That was so cool. Um, did you see that? You know about that? They're gonna fix it? Eventually. Um, <laughs> I would say that I would reverse engineer the audience. So what I would do is I would spend months in the African market, um, figure out what people wanna buy, and I would start an online business that worked in the US or Europe that's around psychology, not just because it was the US or Europe. Certain things are tried and true human, certain things are contextual to the neighborhood, the country, the cadence, the pulse, the slang of a marketplace. So I would use my best of ability of understanding what's human, what's innately human, uh, e-commerce, you know, buying stuff, water needs, whatever, you know, whatever it may be, whatever the market's interested in and try to build around that. So to me, it's understanding the users with those phones, what they're doing. I would look at what they're doing now, whether it's gaming or music downloading or things of that nature, and then try to project what needs do they have that they're doing in a traditional way that the phone could solve. And I would look at the progressive phone markets in Asia and the US to see where they're two or three years ahead. I think a lot of people have looked at the US market and, and have tried to replicate that in their market. And some have been very successful and some have not. And I think some things are inherently US centric and I think some things are human centric and that's what you need to decode. And I think I've done well with that in social networks. Some things are just human based. Like if you get a big enough group of people, they'll drag other people into it, Snapchat. That's why those are easy for me to predict.